Um, I wanted to let everybody know a little history behind Pipeline 2 Cure and how we got started. Uh, about four years ago, researchers in Australia realized that their patients who had cystic fibrosis, which is a genetic disease that affects the lungs and digestive system, they noticed that their surfers were living longer and living a lot healthier, breathing easier, just all around healthier people. So they started doing research on it and figured out that that salt mist and that salt spray that you experience when you hop in the ocean was actually lubricating their lungs and helping them get that mucus out of their body so they could breathe easier. Um, because of this, the foundation started a procedure called hypertonic saline solution, which mimics a surf session. So all of our CF patients and kids each day take one to two saline solution treatments like they've been out at the beach. So it's really cool to see how the ocean is helping our kids breathe easier. I like being around the ocean because like it's easier for me to breathe and just feels nice and the water is relaxing. I like it because I don't have to do the best when I get home. Yeah. Well, I actually really like to swim a lot and um, paddle by. I just wanted to explain a little bit more why this discovery that surfing um, is a treatment for CF is that normally it takes 10 years and $800 million to get a drug if it is successful through the pipeline from discovery to being even in a trial. And because this was natural, just salt water, what all of you guys that surf and stand up paddle breathe, we didn't have to go through the FDA. So it took a couple years to get everyone this treatment. You, you always feel like when you have a cold or some kind of ailment, uh, when there's good surf, all of a sudden you get better. And so I don't know if it's psychologically you get better or physically you actually get better, but you do get better. And so as a surfer, you, you always have kind of known this and believe it, but there's no scientific proof to, to you know, validate it. But to find out that it helps these kids with cystic fibrosis actually get better and it's one of the, the most effective treatments for breathing um, kind of validates everything you believe to be true but never knew for sure. Just seeing all the support year after year, every event that we do. We had an event last night, a Halloween event, raised $90,000. And, and I see Dave Kalama here who jumps on a plane this morning and arrives at 5 a.m is headed back to Hawaii tomorrow just to be here to help us raise money to find a cure for CF. And we're so close, guys. We are so close. We're, we're knocking on that door. And so every single thing that you're doing is going to help us bring closer to ending this disease. Thank you, Mike. And when it first started, Paul Matenko and Jerry Hennessy called and said, do you know anyone in the surf world? And I said, well, yeah. Do you want them old or young? Or, and they said, well, how about in between? And so I said, well, my godson is Dave Kalama, and his partner is Laird Hamilton. So I called him up, said, this is the most amazing thing. Said, give me your name, make an appearance, and come to the event. But I knew I'd hook them once they met some of the kids. So they've been committed ever since. David's flown back and forth to all of our events. Uh, Mickey got involved and way more involved than I think he thought he was going to. He met and fell in love with Emily, who was our original ambassador, who unfortunately got a bacteria that her body couldn't fight anymore. But we're going to do this for the rest of our lives for her and everyone else. Her, her just demeanor and her glow when you even just talked about surfing was so eminent that it was it was contagious you know and it was it was fun to share that and um, it, I don't know it's it's uh, it's it's really profound when you see someone experience and, and feel that joy that surfing has to offer and especially someone with cystic fibrosis boarding because um, this is an event for my disease called cystic fibrosis to help raise money and keep uh, the kids healthy by the salt water. Um, your pulmonary is 
always at risk of being low and our kids are always um, struggling to breathe. So just something as simple as getting them out and breathing the salt water air and, and taking it all in and getting it deep in their sinuses and their lungs. Um, she will sleep better tonight. She will cough up mucus probably for the rest of the day. She'll have an opportunity to clear out a lot of that gunk that's building up and it's just, um, we have meds that do the same thing. Obviously not everybody is on the coast and has the luxury of having that kind of um, water access that we do, but there's a drug called hypertonic saline that mimics the ocean water, but you know, we spend, gosh, four hours a day doing drugs. So to be able to go out here as a family and bring the dog and be on the water and make another memory, and hey, P.S., she's doing her meds at the same time, um, is just a, a great way for us to deal with the disease. It's more than um, a health benefit. It's a it's the benefit of here and in here, and that's where I need her to remain the strongest because the rest of it is going to follow suit.